Okay, today we're going to take a look at how you might use the TI-84 um, graphing calculator to help you evaluate a function. Um, let's say that we are considering the function f of x equals 3x squared plus 2x minus 8 all over 2x minus 4. All right, it's a relatively um, complicated function, and if I was going to attempt or need to find like three, four, five uh, function values for this, it would be worth my time. If the function is really, really simple and I'm only going to find one or two values, I would not recommend doing this. All right, but in this case, um, I'm going to show you how to actually use the calculator for this. We're going to come over here and I'm going to go to the y equals and I'm going to actually put my function in. Okay, so first off, it's a rational function, so I need a fraction. If you've got the math print on your calculator, you should be able to get the shortcut fraction button by hitting alpha y equals. All right, your fraction menu comes up. This is a shortcut on how to get a fraction in here. Press the 1, and then there's your two places that you can put your um, numerator and denominator in. Okay, so now I'm going to enter my top function, 3x squared um, plus 2x and then minus 8. All right, I'm going to arrow down and put that denominator in as 2x minus 4. All right, so my function is in the calculator. Okay, now I'm going to want to evaluate these three function values. So before I do that, um, I'm going to go look to see how my graphing calculator is set. So I'm going to go second table set. All right, I'm going to come in here and look at this menu because I need the calculator set up so that it asks me what values I want to do. Right now, the independent variable is automatically generated. It's on auto. All right, so I'm going to want to arrow down and then arrow over to ask and hit enter. I want to make sure that the calculator is set so that it will ask me for my independent variable. All right, so now that that is set, now I can go into my table of values. So I'm going to press second and then table. All right, and as you can see, the um, it's blank because it did not automatically generate any values for me. So it is set up so that I can put in the values I need. Right here, I need a negative 3 if I'm going to evaluate it. So I can do negative 3. As you can see, it puts it right in there for your x value. Hit enter and it returns the value of negative 13 over 10. Okay, so I could enter that, negative 13 over 10. All right, if you need it as a decimal, all right, something, depending on how your overall calculator is set, it'll give you as an improper fraction here. It might give you as a decimal right there. Lots of different ways you can convert it to a decimal. Um, let's say I need the second function value of 2, so I can press a 2 and hit Enter, and it's going to return an error. All right. In other words, the function is undefined at f of 2. I can come up here and I can look if you remember anything about your rational functions. You cannot divide by 0. Well, if I put a 2 in for x, 2 times 2 is going to be 4, minus 4. That's going to give me a denominator of 0. All right, so the function is undefined. The calculator returns um, error. All right, so let's uh, put undefined because the function is undefined right there. All right, um, for our last function value, let's say we need 10, f of 10. So I can put in 10 and hit enter, and it returns 39 over 2. All right, and again, if you needed those in decimals for whatever reason, you could convert those decim to decimals. Um, otherwise, you can just leave them as improper fractions. All right, um, very handy if you've got a complicated function and you're trying to find lots of function values. Thanks for watching.